Hey friends, I'm Pastor Bill. I'm Pastor Joshua. Uh, we serve at a church called Resurrection in Kansas City, and we've been talking through this thing called the Wesley Covenant Prayer. It's a, it's a prayer that uh, John Wesley really made famous. It's really a big part of who we are as United Methodists, and, uh, and we start our uh, New Year's by, by saying the Wesley Covenant Prayer together. We've been going uh, kind of line by line, and uh, today uh, we're at a line that says, uh, let me be full, let me be empty, let me have all things, let me have nothing. Bill, I've, I've been challenged by this prayer. I, I mean, as I've been praying it daily over the course of the week, uh, it's a really challenging prayer. What, have, what about those first two lines really capture your, your attention? Right, so that's a great question. Uh, so, so the let me be full, let me be empty is what sticks out to me. And, uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, obviously, I like to, to be full. I like to eat. Uh, I don't know if that's <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Like, us doing this together is either a good idea or an awful idea, probably both. Uh, but that idea of let me be empty, I think, is so countercultural. It's so, it's not even countercultural, it's counterbiological. There's this desire in all of us uh, to, to eat, to feed, to, to take care of all of our needs. And, uh, and so by letting ourselves be empty, or even asking to be empty, uh, we put ourselves in a vulnerable state, in a, in a state that's dependent upon something else. It says, you know, uh, to our own biology, that says, hey, we're going to depend on something stronger than our own abilities, stronger than our own wills and desires. And, um, it, and it's making yourself dependent, making yourself reliant, making yourself vulnerable. That's so, uh, it's hard for me as a guy, it's hard for me as a human, and I think it puts us in a powerful place. Well, those next two lines, uh, let me be, let me have all things, let me have nothing. I, I mean, they really challenge me. Uh, this is something I mentioned in the sermon this last weekend. I, I want to have all things, mm -hmm. not nothing. I, I want to be self-reliant. I want to earn enough money to do the things that I want to do. I want to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish. I, I don't want to have to rely on anybody else to do those things for me. And yet I know that in my daily life, in my daily living, I, I am reliant on others. I, I need others in my life. I need God in my life to lead me and guide me. And really a part of this prayer is surrendering ourselves mm -hmm. and, and offering ourselves in part to God that God might use us, that we might have all things. And even when we have nothing, I think God looks at us and says, I'm going to use you. I'm going to send you into the world. Be like Christ. Love others. Share that light with others. Whether we have all things, whether we have nothing, and it's a practice daily for me to, to learn how to rely on God, not my own strength, not my own self. And then even to rely on others, my spouse, my, my wife, my, my little two-year-old daughter, uh, friends and colleagues, people who make me a better person each and every day because they pour into me. Uh, it's a reminder that I am not, I'm not to be self-reliant, but rather to rely on all of those around me as I go about my day. And uh, really, it's a prayer that challenges us, and we hope that you're finding some inspiration as we pray this prayer together. Check back in. We will continue to cover this prayer as we go day by day.